Hi everyone, it's Quickie Baby, and welcome back to World of Tanks, and the Halloween game mode for 2020 is here. That's great news considering that last year the Halloween game mode was cancelled, and so I guess Wargaming have had a lot of time to be able to maybe take some of the features from last year, polish them, and we should have the best Halloween game mode ever in theory. This Halloween game mode is called Murney 13, where you're going to get to play in one of five different vehicles with four other players in a team of five to be able to take on waves and waves of more dangerous enemies in an effort to be able to take down the final victory. And as this is World of Tanks, yep, yeah, grind your commander levels up so you can get coins to be able to spend them on things inside the store. So firstly, let's talk about the five different vehicles. There's the Hornet. This is the equivalent of an AMX 1390. The Cerberus. This is the equivalent of a Centurion 7-1. The Goliath. M103, the Malachite, which is the T-54, and then finally the Grenadier. Now, you're only going to have three of these vehicles unlocked from the get-go. You're going to have the Hornet, the Cerberus, and the Goliath. To be able to get the Malachite and the Grenadier, you're either going to have to spend 650 gold to get the vehicles unlocked from the get-go, as well as three days of premium, or you can complete a series of missions to be able to unlock the vehicles. Now, in each one of the tanks, there is a different commander, and you're going to have to grind your way up towards the, the final level to be able to get a lot of the coins and you can spend these coins inside the store now what are the cool things that you can be able to get for the coins well firstly you can get the commanders for all of these different vehicles they're going to come with three skills however as far as i'm aware it is not a zero skill commander which means that they're probably going to be best suited either on heavy tanks with low pressure in low pressure rolls or just on low pressure rolls on all of your vehicles i'm going to probably have these guys as loaders because you, you don't want to have premium crew members or crew members that have um, brothers in arms as a zero skill inside your loaders that's how i'm going to be using all of them so you are going to be able to get the styles for all of your different vehicles for the amx 1390 the centurion 71 the m103 the t54 or the t49 now these styles i'm going to go out there and say that i think that they're well, I mean, they don't look bad that's it's not i never i've never say this looks bad but considering what kind of a standard wargaming a setting for all of their styles they don't really feel like they're the most glorious or unique things that i've ever seen but i do like the idea that they have this kind of thema uh, the thematic style that goes across all of the different vehicles and those are really the best rewards for the event so five styles and five commanders that you're going to be able to put in any of your vehicles but they're not zero skill commanders now if you have surplus coins you're going to be able to spend them on either directives the vent purges are great especially seeing how ranked is here you're going to be wanting to using vent purges for ranked alternatively you can get 50 percent credit boosters for two hours that's also fantastic everybody needs credits especially in the, in the state of the game and considering that you can buy training booklets for credits it might actually be better if you're running a premium account to buy the credit boosters make a load of credits and then be able to use them to 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 buy the experience for your crew there's actually a universal manual available albeit is for 50 coins so that is quite expensive unless you want to be purchasing i believe war gaming's deals that you have down here now there's a load of missions that you can do every single day so make sure you're logging in every single day if you want to be able to complete and get everything aka all the commanders and all the styles as this is a very time gated event how is it a time gated event you might ask well that's because when your crew um, go into Murney 13, then very conveniently for this time-gated style of content, the crew are going to become sick and they're going to have to go, I guess, into quarantine or they're going to have to avoid the radiation from Murney 13 for a, uh, for an, a whole day. So you're only going to be able to play each of your vehicles once unless you have a stim pack that you can apply to your commander or alternatively you don't have stim packs pay a progressively larger and larger amount of credits and if you do want to unlock the malachite and the grenadier then you're going to have to play a substantial amount of games in the hornet the cerberus and the goliath to be able to achieve them in addition to this there are three different difficulties available there's minimum risk i think everybody is going to be able to achieve this even with a random group i managed to win games on minimum risk even when one or two players on my team were afk out of the five the increased risk, however, I've only actually managed to achieve this, I think, one in about three times. And I haven't even unlocked the maximum risk, which I'm looking forward to doing so. But the events just started, at least on the European server. So anyway, I thought, no, I don't want to play the m of 3. No, what did I do? Oh, I forgot to explain a couple of things. Okay, well, I'm just going to play the m of 3. I guess I'm going to be the tank for my team. I was hoping that I was going to be a bit more of a damage dealer, but I guess I'm just going to have to be the... Uh, 
the tank for my team, ladies and gents. So the M103, aka the Goliath. This thing has armor and it's actually absolutely meaty. Hey friends. Hey friends. Follow me. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm QB. Yeah, I'm QB. I'm I'm recording a YouTube video. Video. So play well. So play well, friends. So play well, friends! Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got recognized right from the get-go. How hilarious is that? There's like three... How many players? Was it two or three people say... Oh my gosh, it's the whole platoon. I just realized this is a platoon of four players. This is hilarious. Oh my goodness, they've all signed up together. Let's go, boys. Okay. Anyway, so I'm getting distracted, YouTube. Okay, so as you can see, there's loads of different bots available. Um, so all of these bots will try and attack you and they progressively get more and more dangerous as you increase the difficulty and as the game goes on as there's loads of different phases as you can see in the top right hand corner to be able to uh, to achieve so once you kill all of the bots they will drop um, Miriam they will drop Miriam and you can see that when my vehicle picks up the Miriam I think it gets a tiny little bit of a speed boost but importantly um, you have to collect the Miriam, and then you have to take it to Magnus. This sounds very weird, right? Good Ram! That was a good one, dude. Okay, the Miller Killer on my team managed to, uh, to rock and roll there. So, you have to take the Miriam that you can see just here, that I have 15, although my mic arm is kind of covering it, so apologies for that. You have to take it to Magnus. Now, Magnus is on your map, and you can see he's a big purple blob, and he will absorb all of the Miriam from your vehicle. And to be able to get through all of the different stages, you have to collect larger and larger amounts of Miriam. So there are lots of different consumables that you can use inside this. Unfortunately, you're going to have to pay for all of the consumables with credits, but you will earn the credits kind of back as you play the game mode as well. So there, you've got that going for you. So let me talk about all of the different consumables. Um, there are different consumables that I would recommend using for the different vehicles. Personally, for me, I like to use the turbocharger on a vehicle like this. And I'll show you what it does on the next fight. How about this? I'll go in and I'll go and smash somebody. I'll ram somebody. Well, when I say somebody, it's not like there. There are players on the enemy team. They're all bots, but you, you get what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to hopefully manage to get a big ram with the Goliath, which is one of the best things about it. Luckily for me, my Goliath friend is doing some good work. And I'll save it until we can manage to get a nice ram. We should probably not actually deposit all the Miriam right now. We need to collect more. Collect more, friends! So here's one of my biggest tips for this game mode. And that is that you don't want to end it right from the get-go. We have two minutes. We have two minutes. Okay, so I'm telling my friends that we should collect more. Okay, here comes the ram! Turbo! Oh, that's what the Goliath does. It's pretty satisfying, I'm not going to lie. You can basically ram things absolutely completely. That's delicious. So, one thing that I would recommend doing is if you've got time, do not just waste the time and go and end stage one early. Because you can actually keep the Miriam with you. So you can take it into stage two. Okay, let's end. All right. I like these guys. Awesome. Big shout out to you. Josef Pones. You do Pones, Josef. Big shout out to Miller Killer. To Crow Nexus. I guess that's Nexus from Croatia, probably. And Wild Doggy. Whoa. Good names, guys. Let's see if we can do this together. Are you going to be the first group of friends that managed to, to get me into level 3 difficulty? So you can see we're filling up, we're filling up Magnus with Miriam now. And we've actually got extra. So here's another tip. When you go into the next phase, what it will actually do is it will allow you to... Um, what will it actually allow you to do is reset all of your cooldowns. And it will give everybody back... Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go this way then. We've got to fall back. Okay, I'm trying to explain everything. So what you see right there is the immortal. Look at it. That is the Immortal YouTube. And what the Immortal does is does some disgusting things. So it actually looks like one of our friends is, is going to die, unfortunately. So unfortunately for us, Joseph Pones 
got caught. Okay, so here's a big tip that I didn't realize until a few games in. You see this bar over on the right-hand side of your screen? That actually lets you know how close the Immortal is to being able to catch you. So make sure you don't ever drive towards the Immortal. And unfortunately for me, my friends didn't quite um, get that message. Okay, so we've got a Conway. You can see that the enemies progressively get harder and harder. So I'm going to actually ram this Conway. Oh, smash him up. Okay, so let me talk about the other consumables. So you can actually buy invulnerability, but it costs 20,000 credits, and I haven't used it yet. Um, the cheaper consumables only cost 3,000 credits, which is a much more reasonable amount, in my opinion. Um, we've got to watch out. The, the guy's coming for us. We've got, we've got to go. We've got to go. We've got to go, friends. Fall back from the immortal. Come on, let's go. Um, yeah, yeah, we're going to need some more. Okay, good. Let's go get some more. No, 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 no. Watch out. The Hornet shouldn't really do that. Don't do it, Hornet. We'll go get some more Miriam and then we'll be okay. I believe we'll be okay. We should be able to kite this guy like this. We've got to get enough Miriam. Okay, so all of the different consumables. One of them actually does an AoE heal. You see that I have it on my four key. It's called Field Repairs. Oh, rabbits! So the rabbits are actually really lucky. Um, if you get rabbits, you, 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 you should be very happy because what the rabbits do is they're just little luxes. And what the luxes do is they actually have a lot of loot on them. I'm probably not going to be able to catch that one. And so that actually allows you to get quite a lot of um, good resources. Um, well, actually, no, no. Actually, actually, let's go this one. Let's go that one. Oh, well, I guess we can take this one as well. Okay, we'll take both of them. Okay, boom, baby. I'm going to hopefully heal. Oh, whoa, I got tagged. You see what happens when you get tagged? It's not very good, to say the least. I'm actually getting absolutely hounded by these guys. See how dangerous the bots are when they get going? I'm in so much trouble! Help me, friends. Oh, well, at least I did my job and I tanked everything. Oh, I'm low. I'm low. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Oh. Okay, we've got to hurry this up. I think we should have enough time. Do we have enough Miriam? Let's get this one, and then we'll go for the... Go for the circle, I guess. Okay. Okay, they're actually healing me. That's very nice. These guys are great players. We can do it together. So yeah, you should try and think about sharing your damage amongst each other. Make sure that you're looking after each other. Oh no! 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 Did you see the red lasers? That means that the guy's trying to get you. Okay, let's go to the Miriam. Let's go, let's go hand in the Miriam. We don't want to go too close to that area. Oh man, did you see the, the immortal nearly got me there. He had his lasers fixed on me. Okay, so you might be thinking, well, is Joseph Pones out the game? Should he leave the game? Well, that's actually not the case. Joseph should, Joseph should not leave the game. No, 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 this way. We've only got a minute. Rush it, friends. I should have a turbo to be able to get back up. Okay, so Joseph Pones is not actually out the game because we're going to be able to res him if we can hand in all of the required Miriam. But we've got to be careful that our Hornet friend doesn't die. I've got to heal soon. I've got to survive until heal. I need my friends to tank for me. I've got a heal coming up right now. Boom, yes. Great news. I guess I've got to get the turbo. I've got to go hand in. I've got to hand in. Should be okay. Oh, we just did it. We entered the next phase, and I used my heal just before, so we've got time. Okay. Let's go, friends. We'll go this way. So you can see, that was pretty close. Oh, jeez Louise! How did we get so unlucky? How is he there? Oh, absolute nightmare. Please go, friends. I got a turbo boost to get out of this place. Let's go this way. Let's go this way, friends. Should be safe. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, no, why are you pushing me under the... Oh my goodness gracious, Cronexus, you nearly just absolutely wrecked me. 
That was nearly very bad. Do you think he had the ultimate opportunity to troll the quacky baby in a YouTube video? I mean, it would be funny if it wasn't against bots. Okay, here we go. We're okay. We just got to make, so, make sure that Joseph Bones doesn't get wrecked. Got to try and look after him. You see how the bots actually try and focus him down? Oh, I've left him on four health. <gasps> Can you believe I left him on that health? Is Joseph okay? Okay, so another thing I should talk about is that you actually managed to get... Um, you can actually get these rare anomalies, which is a word that I couldn't say on stream at all yesterday. Anomalies, anomalies. I, I've got, I think I've learned it now. Um, and you can actually upgrade them. So, for example, this gives me a chance to increase the damage I deal uh, with a single shot. And this one increases my damage per shot. So I'm actually very strong right now. Okay, so I've got to get in here and try and help my friends. When you're playing as the Goliath... You want to be the Goliath. Like this. Yes. Like that. Oh, hedgehogs! Hedgehogs. We'll try and rush you. Nice. Got to try and get them. If they get close to you, a lot like the fireball. Oh, nice shot! A lot like the fireball inside the, uh, the Steel Hunter game mode. That it will actually blow up on you, so be careful with that. Okay, Joseph needs to be careful. Joseph, be careful. I'm asking- Oh, rabbits! Rabbits, that's perfect! Go get them! Get the rabbits! Tasty treats! We need a lot more Miriam. Oh no, wait a minute, I have 172. Oh, I thought that was the team. I didn't think it was me. What's going on with these hedgehogs? Okay, we're okay. The rabbits all escaped, though. It's not so good. We didn't find the rabbits. Okay, fine. Let's go, then. Okay, I'll heal my friends up. Yeah, nice. Look at this. So we can do the AoE heal. So it's the best module to take. Be a team player, YouTube. Be a team player. That's what I recommend. Don't be selfish. Be a team player. I have to admit, it is, it is actually pretty good to have one heavy tank or so on your team. Of course, the light tanks and the mediums do a little bit more damage, but the heavy tank is just so awesome for absorbing the pain for your friends. We good? So another tip is that you really don't actually want to die before the end of the round because you lose your upgrades, which is not good. Okay, we did it. Use heals. Before CD. What's happened to our friends? Has he disconnected? Have two of our friends disconnected? Are you actually kidding me? Did they disconnect? What can I do? Can I push him? Okay. You may have disconnected, my friend. You may have disconnected, my friend. But my brains have not disconnected. I'M TAKING YOU WITH ME! No! Oh! Apparently we're not gonna do it, cause... Miller Killer DC'd! And so did Crow Nexus! Oh, the absolute sacrilege. Oh, they're right there and all we have to do is get them there. Oh, no, 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 unbelievable. That's it. Well, that's unfortunate. Absolute lovely people to play with though. They were doing a really good job. I'm, I'm happy that they recognize me. Uh, what a, what an absolute disaster. that Everyone has dodgy connections occasionally. Can you believe it happened right towards the end? Ah, oh, brutal stuff. So that, in essence, is what Halloween's game mode is. And what Halloween's game mode? Or even what Wargaming's Halloween game mode is all about. Um, so we managed to get a bit of uh, experience there for our commander, which is always nice. You can actually see so here. You can actually see the cooldown now. I can't play again with Robert Barnes unless I use a stim cat, um, stim pack even, stimulant cat. The cat, goodness gracious, do not feed stimulants to your cats. That's a terrible idea. Like catnip is far enough. All right, wouldn't like to see what the result would be. So 
the stimulants. If you're wondering why I have so many, it's because Wargaming gave them to the content creators so we can play lots of the game mode and to check out the content um, and to test it all out, right? Without having to wait. But obviously for all of you, I do feel... I, I do feel a bit sad that Wargaming have put this behind a time-gated event. Sad. And you kind of either have to spend 50 gold to try and get double the experience. Why are Wargaming trying to nickel and dime players for an event? Why was it not enough to just, you know, celebrate what was a really cool and fun game mode that they've created? I've obviously had a lot of fun with this. Um, I had a lot of fun with the WTLV100 game mode as well. I just... for the, To be honest, Wargaming, the rewards... I've got I'm of two minds about this. Okay. Firstly, I think it's quite nice that the rewards are not even that good. I don't think these styles are that special. What do you think, YouTube? I don't think they're really that cool. Um I think they're all right, maybe if you like it. Personally for me, I I think that they're definitely more B grade styles inside the game of World of Tanks. The commanders, they're not even zero skills. Sure, it's nice that they come with three skills, but they're not even zero skills. So I think for all of the truly dedicated players out there, they're not even going to be suitable for being commanders inside your tanks. I think you're going to put them as loaders, frankly, in your heavies. Um, the rewards are just not very good, but the game mode is actually excellent. Um, so it makes me a little bit sad that Wargaming have decided to try and nickel and dime people with small amounts of gold to be able to play your commander again. Why, for example, did Wargaming not have uh, maybe another level of difficulty on top, for all I know, and make it so that the fun is seeing how many waves you can take down and just play with your friends and to just have a good time. And then if they wanted to just sell a few skins, um, not put them behind some kind of grindy marathon i think that would have been in my opinion uh just it's i'm not sure if all of you understand what i'm saying it just feel that when you have to play every single day it feels like you're working and i can tell you that if you're working you'd expect the rewards to be a little bit better in my opinion the other half of me thinks that I'm quite happy that the rewards are not that good because I don't feel the pressure to play every single day. And so maybe this is just an event for people who enjoy it to be able to get something funky out of it. That's another way of looking at it. What way you look at it, I will leave it up to you. All you need to know is it's not exactly like the um, the bounty events that went into the game, where literally you had to grind and play loads of PvE to still remain competitive. I'm thankful it's not like that. But as far as I'm concerned, I feel like the difficulty is is pretty high. I think that a lot of players will struggle to be able to complete um, the second difficulty of the increased risk with randoms. However, as you could see in that last game, you can platoon up with some friends and then maybe you're going to be able to even the odds and even push towards the maximum risk. Anyway, ladies and gents, boys and girls, that was Murney 13, the World of Tanks Halloween 2020 game mode. I'm a bit conflicted about it, but all in all, I think this one is one of the best Halloween game modes that Wargaming have ever done. Does anyone remember, I think it was two or three years ago, that Wargaming created a Halloween game mode where they were testing their AI for the first time that was just so unbelievably boring? I feel like this one's a lot more exciting. I feel like it does require some teamwork, and I think with all of the different consumables available inside it, it does feel a little bit more fun. Also, I just want to finish the video very quickly just talking about the consumables and which one I would recommend to use in what tank. Energy Shield, in my opinion, this is too expensive, although I can imagine it being very strong. If you want to spend 20,000 credits on it, that's fine. Personally, for me, the best consumables are as follows. I think the turbocharger is great in your slower heavy tanks, the ones that you want to ram with. Maybe the T-54, maybe the M103, maybe even possibly the Centurion 7-1. I think the best consumable by far is the field repairs. This is cheap and only costs 3,000 credits and it will do AoE healing for your friends. Be a team player. Take this. Heal each other up. And if you do that, you can keep each other in the game and you're more likely to be able to complete it. The emergency kit is just a worse version of the emergency repairs. The emergency repairs cost 20,000 credits, however, but it will heal you significantly. So if you can afford it, the emergency repairs is the next best option. If you can't afford the 20,000 credits, as I, as I think a lot of the free-to-play players won't, then take an emergency kit. Now, the Born Ready is a very interesting module which instantly reloads or it also fully reloads a magazine. So when you're playing the AMX 1390 with its autoloader, I love the Born Ready consumable because that will allow you to be able to 
fire off your five shells, hit the reload and fire off another five. You can role play like you're playing in the uh, the Steel Hunter game mode when you have the the um, the Harlequin fully up uh, fully upgraded. And I think that that's an absolutely incredible one as well for the T49 with its auto reloading derp gun for getting up behind your opponents, firing one, two, and then using the born ready again to do it all over again. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to finish it off with making sure that I've given you all of my tips and tricks for this game mode so you can go and you can dominate it as much as you can. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. But if you hated it, give it a thumbs down. And let me know in the comments what you think about Murney 13. Have you played it yourself? Do you think that it's good? Do you think that it's awful? What do you think about the time-gated content? What do you think about the fact that Wargaming are trying to nickel and dime you out of 50 gold to double your progress? Do you not? What do you think about the rewards? Do you think that they're awful? And so it's actually quite hilarious that Wargaming are trying to nickel and dime you to get rewards that aren't even really that good in the game. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.